So let me say that this is undoubtedly uh, a very difficult report for us and it's a bad day for my organisation. And perhaps, first of all, if I can just offer an apology to the people of the Isle of Wight uh, for, for the sake of the state of this service and, and my, give my absolute commitment to make things better. Um, yes, the report has highlighted a number of issues that we're going to need to work on um, over the coming 12 months to get ourselves back out of special measures. And I would also say to people that you know we have been working on these already. The safety issues reported in the ward, a lot of work has been done there to improve the safety of the environment for our mental health patients. The um, bullying issue that you mentioned was something that we'd already um, formally investigated and put through an action plan and a set of staff engagement um, programmes and, and routes of people to, to take their concerns to if they feel they are being bullied. And let me absolutely say at the top of all this, bullying is utterly unacceptable under any circumstances and the Trust Board absolutely pledges itself to, to stamp that out and deal vigorously with those who, who are accused of it. And looking at the report, there's obviously comments in there about leadership and management and, and you know, heavy criticisms there. Yeah. We've already seen the Chief Executive Karen Baker leave. Will there be any more changes at the senior management level at the Trust? So absolutely, when um, Karen became aware of what the content of the report was, uh, she felt that as the person with the primary responsibility and accountability for the organisation, uh, she should step down. Um, there are no further plans for, for senior uh, leaders to, to, to move on or be sacked or, or, or retire. Um, but. Uh, we are under intense uh, scrutiny as an organisation and if we're found wanting then there may well be a further people um, being asked to move on and uh, as a medical director if I felt I wasn't performing properly then actually I would want to be moved on because I want this organisation to get better, I don't want to be holding things back. And what's your message now to the staff here at the, the hospital because when this report is formally published I'm sure there's going to be a lot of concerns, what are you going to be doing to address those? Well, first of all, I would say to the staff, please read the bit in the report that says your care is good and that across the piece, um, the CQC saw our staff acting with compassion and looking after patients with great care. And what I would also say to them secondarily is, look, we need to work with you to turn the things around in this report. Just because perhaps your area hasn't been highlighted in the report, I need people to reflect on whether what is said in one area might apply to theirs. And we need to work as a team if we're going to make this right uh, and we need to do that speedily uh, and you, we have the, and I want to say to them that they have the absolute commitment of, of the leadership to doing that. And finally the residents of the Isle of Wight obviously are going to be looking at this report looking at the summary of it what's your message to them because again surely they're going to be very worried and, and very concerned about their hospital here sure. on the Isle of Wight. Sure. Um, well, I, I, you know, in many ways I could point to a raft of outcome measures, for instance our hospital mortality rate which is average or better than average than you would expect uh, in a similar organisation in the NHS. And there are lots of other outcome measures like that and I would not want people to become universally worried about the, the safety of the, of the services that they receive. It's not to say that we don't have work to do, we absolutely do. But I live here on the Isle of Wight, my kids use the service, my parents use the service and they will be continuing to use it in the future. I assure people that, they, that, they, that the services that they receive should be safe and if they're not we will put that right. And if they have any concerns, we want to hear from them so that they can help us put things right too. Thank you.